good afternoon so today on thoughts yes. on education we have with us dr suresh who is currently the principal of vishnu dental college good afternoon dr dr suresh yeah good afternoon uh, good afternoon so before moving forward let's get a brief uh, about the experience of dr suresh so if you can brief the audience about your experience uh, in the education industry and overall as well yeah um uh, myself dr suresh sajjan um i completed my uh, bds uh, in 1985 and completed my post graduation uh, in 1989 from uh, bapuj dental college davangere karnataka and uh, since then i have been uh, in in the field of education matlab as soon as i finished i joined the institute and i was serving there in uh, opus dental college and then college of dental sciences uh, both are sister concerns in davangere till 2007 then i have joined uh, the vishnu dental college in 2007 and since then i am continuing here as uh, uh, I, i joined as a head of the department in 2009 i became principal and since then i am uh, uh, working as a principal here so a uh, little bit about the college we started post graduation in the year of 2008 and then uh, since then every year uh, we have the batches going on uh, and then um, uh, well um, we also have the phd center Uh, where a uh, few of our a uh, few of the faculty have taken up the uh, phd's so we have uh, our faculty recognized as a phd tutors or phd teachers also or phd guys from the ntr university of health sciences okay that is great to hear sir i am sure all the viewers would have a lot to learn uh, about your college Thank and you. uh, and from your experience as well So sir coming to the first question of the interview my first question is you have held key positions at education institutes throughout your professional career what are some of the key factors that have kept you connected with the education sector well firstly it is uh, my passion for teaching because i love to share my knowledge and experience with my students so that they can leap on further and serve the patients with humility the students are the ones they inspire me to update with the newer technology and be a learner all the time so i will be a student along with them uh, as uh, along with my students as well now throughout the years uh, throughout this then i have witnessed several of our students being recognized on their uh, respective fields then whenever uh, the our students narrate their success stories i feel proud um and they uh, narrate uh, on the of uh, in their career and the life to the training they received under my guidance so that makes me feel proud so i i put it as my students are the motivators to pick me keep me connected with the education sector that is great to hear sir so my next question would be being the principal of vishnu dental college what is your philosophy of leadership well uh, our philosophy of leadership in uh, vishnu dental college is uh, that we want to walk together and work together and we want to work towards the growth and here we have adapted a decentralized approach to distribute the responsibilities and uh, empower them to make decisions so it is not um, monopoly or autocracy so we uh, empower them to make decisions so that's how it it makes well and we have a director on top of us uh, who also belong to the dental fraternity and then uh, we have vice principal and we have the associate deans for hospital management academic affairs student support systems and we have various committees to take care of the college uh, our uh, day to day activities as well so that is how we uh, uh, we are growing together and we are working together yeah great sir so my next question would be 
the education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student gain from studying here at Vishnu Dental College? Well, um, at Vishnu Dental College, we are slightly differing from the routine uh, kind of education. So here, we have adapted uh, several practices with the uh, at par with the international community. Uh, just to name a few, like uh, comprehensive clinical training where each student, uh, each patient is given to each student. So the wholesome treatment planning and uh, uh, completing the treatment it, it will be responsibility of that student uh, alone. So he takes help of the faculty and he does it. Then another, uh, another to name is promoting undergraduate research. So we do uh, encourage our undergraduate students also to do research so by this, they will be industry ready with confidence um, as they move out of the institute. Whether they go to go and join another institute or they he want to start up a clinic, he will be ready uh, either way. And here in, in Vishnu Dental College, uh, the student is facilitated with uh, ICT enabled learning by using uh, some of the apps like uh, MindMap, Kahoot, Socrative, Edmodo, etc because uh, all our faculty are trained for the ICT enabled uh, teaching and learning. So digital teaching learning is the practice to enhance and enrich the knowledge sharing by the faculty. The learning material is stored in the Apple education platform. We have a MOU with the Apple education. So the Apple education platform, we store all our um, teaching uh, learning material and students can revisit it, visit the lessons at their convenience. So all the lessons, all the lectures are recorded and they're put in there. And uh, we also have our private YouTube channel to upload um, the appropriate videos made by the faculty and uh, the students can access them. So in, in uh, uh, our campus, we uh, have made, we are making an uh, holistic development. Our efforts we make for the holistic development of the student in the campus. So it is not just uh, the academic activity, but also we encourage them to take up uh, extracurricular activities as well. So we provide them add-on courses uh, through Vishnu uh, Audio Visual Academy, Vishnu Music Academy, and we have a bakery and the bakery lessons will be given. And we also have a driving school uh, where uh, especially the girls, uh, students, they can learn driving within the campus. And also we have a uh, community radio by name Vishnu uh, uh, FM 90 point, uh, Radio Vishnu uh, FM 90.4. So the, all the programs here are run by the students. They are made by the students and run by the students. Uh, so they can transcend their skills uh, by running the program here. So communication skills, uh, also uh, will be taken care of. And we also have uh, this Toastmaster Club in the campus. So that also uh, helps the students to bring out their, uh, their, their um, uh, what do you say, um, their excellences and also uh, to, to nurture what, uh, whatever the interest they have. You know, that's how the, our students will be benefited in our uh, institute. Uh, can I add a little bit uh, or to it? Sure, sure, so you can. Yeah, uh, because uh, because education system in India and other foreign countries, no? So I just want to say that um, we also have um, MOUs with the uh, foreign institute or foreign uh, universities like we have an MOU with Tufts University, uh, USA, uh, Boston, USA. Then we have a uh, MOU with um, Missouri University. Then we have uh, uh, USA. And then we have an MOU with Bolton University, uh, UK. And uh, for, uh, for running uh, at UK Bolton University, we, uh, we are running with the dental technology program, BSc in dental technology program. Okay, so, but these are also adding up uh, to our uh, ability, our 
understanding about how the uh, education differs um, between our, our setup and the uh, education abroad. And uh, so we have made, uh, we have brought in a lot of uh, modifications in, in our education uh, or in our in the curriculum at Vishnu Daniel College. And uh, that is how we are uh, uh, we are uh, transforming uh, for for uh, at at par with the uh, 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 what do you say the other countries or foreign nationals uh, at the foreign at the international level rather. So that is great to hear that all the steps that uh, the Vishnu Dental College is taking that is not only making the students competitive in India but it is actually working on making the students competitive globally. Yes, yes, that's true. That is great to hear, sir. So my next question is, how does the curriculum of Vishnu Dental College ensure the best practices of the industry? Well, uh, the dental industry needs the doctors to be competent to treat all type of patients at ease. So, and, and be service oriented with uh, humility and have an entrepreneurial mindset to develop the dental clinic or the dental industry. So we start nurturing these qualities right from first year. As soon as they join, uh, they will be uh, taking a tour on this. So we have uh, transformed ourselves from uh, regular pedagogic teaching to an active blended small group learning. So the group of uh, 100 students are divided and then uh, into smaller groups. So that enhances their knowledge base. And to improve their clinical skills, we have equipped the Institute with modern equipments. Um, other than the routine equipments, they, we also have uh, modern equipments like T-scan, jaw tracker, joint vibration analysis instruments, then operating microscopes, CBCT, CAD CAM, uh, et cetera. Uh, so, and, and we practice magnification assisted dentistry and uh, digital database and photographic documentation. Uh, programs like externship where uh, some of the students are sent to a few recognized clinics um, elsewhere. And uh, we also have the outreach activities where the students will be taken to the camps and uh, other areas. So they, they need to, uh, they will get a uh, real time experience about uh, the uh, behavior of the people and how to manage them, how to communicate with them and how the clinics are set up because we also conduct practice management mentoring for them so that uh, they will be ready to uh, face the uh, world when they go out from here. So they will be competent enough to sustain and excel in the field of dentistry. That is really good to know, sir, that the curriculum is helping the students to grow a lot and also the, all the practical knowledge that uh, all the instruments and everything that you have been uh, upgrading your institute continuously to help students gain better knowledge uh, about the industry. Great. So my next question is, what according to you should be the institute's top priority over the next 10 years? Well, um, so our institute vision is uh, oral health for all and we strive to provide equitable health care to all patients. In this process, we are providing quality treatment at a low cost. Now, uh, to develop the uh, in the next 10 years, we want to develop the institute as a center of excellence for dental education, uh, oral health care and research at national and international platforms to extend the network of satellite clinics. We have uh, satellite clinics of about 25 now, and we want to extend it to 100 and to cover the state of Andhra Pradesh and to ensure our institute's um, vision for healthcare for all. Now, to tell about a uh, little bit about this uh, satellite clinics, we set up the satellite clinics in about in where there are no dentists and they are not uh, in a village uh, areas and uh, they they about uh, 10 kilometers around there should not be any dentists so about 30000 population so those are the uh, people who are deprived of dental health so we set up the clinics there and we educate them and we provide 
the quality dental health care at a lower cost. And we also uh, are looking forward to develop our dental uh, materials, indigenous dental materials to support uh, our Prime Minister's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. That is great to hear, sir. An uh, institute that is actually working uh, and have a prioritized uh, set of goals that they want to achieve. I'm sure that is going to help yeah. everyone around. What, according to you, are Vishnu Dental College's greatest trends? Well, um, there are several points to mention uh, as, as the most significant strengths for our um, for our college or for our institute. Uh, firstly, the management. Our management is very progressive uh, thinking and they, they take a lot of interest in building up the trustworthy relation between the stakeholders. Uh, that is what keeps uh, our institute growing. And uh, secondly, uh, uh, our management has set up a center uh, called as Vedic. That's a Vishnu Education and Development and Innovation Center. Because our management believes in the statement, equipping institutions with technology uh, is just not sufficient, but equipping teachers to use the technology is more important. So all, all of our uh, faculty are trained uh, for teaching and uh, they're followed up uh, with time and uh, they're also um, there will be continuation of the courses um, for, for training the faculty and uh, training the leadership within the faculty uh, at this Vedic Center. Well, uh, another point I would like to mention here is uh, uh, our, our dental college is in the midst of the campus where we have engineering college, the pharmacy college, and uh, also the computer education uh, college. So uh, we have a very good setup where we can do a good research with the interdisciplinary research. And um, that is uh, one of the uh, uh, good, uh, great strength for, for our institute to come up. And uh, we also have uh, the faculty in our college at our institute is we have a blend of new, new and experienced faculty. They are, most of them are uh, what we, uh, when, when we try to interview them and pick them up, they are committed, enthusiastic and open-minded to upgrade and uh, embrace the change desired to train the present generation students. Because generation, when we were studying uh, and generation now, there is a lot of difference. So we need to change ourselves to, and update ourselves to cope with it. Then fourth, uh, another thing we have is uh, the patient turnover. That being in a, a rural environment, our college is set up in a rural environment and we cater a larger underprivileged population and provide the best treatment at an affordable cost. As I mentioned earlier, our vision is to provide oral health care for all. So we try to provide the treatment at an affordable cost uh, for them. And then fifth is the nat uh, satellite clinic. Uh, we have, as, as I mentioned also earlier, we have about 25 satellite clinics now and at various locations and where people have no access to dental care. And we provide them information, awareness and oral health too. And provide the dental treatment at a very affordable cost. So, um, thereby, we also provide employment for our alumni because they, most of these um, satellite clinics, any of our alumni are, are from the close by areas, we offer them the job there. So they work there for an year or two or they continue to work there and then they want to set up their clinics, they are, they are already experienced. So we give support to our alumni and uh, our alumni is our strength. They are our ambassadors and they always support and contribute to the knowledge sharing. That is great to hear, yeah. sir. So my next question would be, how do you tend to establish a healthy relation and environment in your institute? Um, 
our uh, founder chairman, Dr. Uh, B.B. Raju, uh, his vision, the philosophy of uh, Vasudhaika Kutumba, means all of us living together and uh, growing together, working together uh, within all the institution. Now, presently, uh, we are led by our chairman, uh, uh, Vishnu Raju, the grandson of uh, Dr. B.B. Raju. And uh, he has continued the legacy of uh, uh, Dr. B.B. Raju, and he has uh, taken it forward. Now, uh, the admin team on top will be monitoring the activities of the faculty to support during the setbacks so that they they should not feel that they are left off so they always be we are, they are always supportive and the faculty are encouraged to take up research projects and develop innovative teaching and learning strategies and all these activities are supported by the management and the top management regularly interacts with the faculty and the students also to understand the needs to provide uh, solutions that are required our uh, uh, chairman for the past uh, two months, almost every day, he will be addressing a group of students um, and want to know what are their uh, problems and how they, uh, he can cope or how he can help. And uh, they have they have done a lot uh, for the students where there is no internet, they're providing some internet facilities for them and uh, so that these online classes during this COVID time can still go on and the uh, students should get benefited out of it. They should not be left off and they should not be feeling that we don't have an internet so we, we are not able to attend the classes and, and other people are going ahead. You know? So, uh, and also uh, there, will be a consist, uh, there will be a constant communication between the faculty and the students uh, to mentor them and encourage them to participate in all the curricular and extra curricular activities as well so several of our faculty live within the campus we have a housing uh, colony um, built by our, our chairman uh, within the campus and uh, a lot of our faculty majority of our faculty live within the campus so they are accessible to the students at any point of time uh, for their any any of their uh, issues and uh, whenever they need we are there for them Okay, and, and uh, that has created uh, an environment of mutual respect and uh, trust. Um, and also, uh, we take the feedback from the students and also from the other faculty. Uh, and uh, we try to see how uh, we can uh, take care of if they have any problems or if there is any setbacks, mm -hmm. what are the problems, how we can support them, how we can bring them out of it and then um, things like that so, uh, with a uh, non-parental authority to allow students to grow their social and emotional intelligence as well. So we, we also come together with the students to celebrate uh, some of the occasions like whether it's a student success in a conference or um, getting good grades in the exams and, or the festivals and we also celebrate national days and uh, specialty days and then college day and uh, graduation day, freshers day, things like that. And you know, that's how um, we are uh, establishing a healthy relationship. That is great to hear, sir. I'm sure an institute that is taking so many efforts uh, for, for, for like upgrading the skills of the students and the faculty at the same time a healthy relationship has to be there. So my last question uh, for this interview would be any advice uh, if you want to give to the aspirants. That is great to hear, sir. Like I earlier said, that all the efforts that your institute has been taking that will obviously help all the students and like have been helping and would obviously help the current and the, the students that are yet to join the institute in a lot of different ways. Yeah, thank you. So my last question for this interview would be any advice if you want to give to the aspirants. Dentistry is presently it is thought that it is uh, losing the charm. Uh, but uh, to my understanding, I say dentistry is the best, uh, uh, best, best career that one can take because um, immediately as we complete the BDS, 
we are called dental surgeons and uh, we can treat and we are the uh, smile givers uh, for the patients. The patient come with problems and we uh, give them, uh, we let them go with a smile. Okay, we are the smile makers and we treat the problems for them and uh, they will have uh, instantly they can see the changes. And so uh, the students who join dentistry um, should, uh, should feel proud and I feel proud of myself being in the field of dentistry and being in the field of education and, and um, at Vishnu Dental College it's a very holistic development and uh, the students of Vishnu Dental College as we understand now their preferred uh, students are, are the preferred doctors at various uh, places wherever they go whether as they complete the post graduation and want to join as a faculty at uh, some other institute or they want to join somebody's uh, some uh, uh, someone else's practice and uh, they are always they are preferred uh, uh, as a, a dentist to um, to collaborate with okay so that's a, a small thing I, want, I would like to say that is great sir thank you so much for your time i'm sure all the all the students and the parents who would view this video would have a lot to learn about the dental industry and or, and obviously or the vishnu dental college thank you so much sir for thank your time thank you thank you so much